to YouTube and all who have it. My name is Nito Z, and in today's video, I'm going to show you seven ways to prank your friends using command blocks. If you enjoyed this video, please do remember to like and subscribe, and in the comments, please let me know which command was your favorite. Also, remember all these commands will be in the description, and I hope you enjoy. Let's get straight into it. Our first command system is called lag trip, and it basically does right what it says on the tin. It's going to give the illusion that your friend is lagging, and it's gonna, well, annoy them quite a bit. So all we have to do is first give ourselves a command block. So all I'm gonna do is hit the slash key on my keyboard, and I'm gonna type in give, and then I'm going to type in my name, so I'm Nito Z, so I can just hit N and then hit tab, then space, and then type in C-O-M-M, -M, and then hit tab, then hit enter, and now I have a command block in my inventory and I can just get rid of that since I already have everything set up here. So this first command block, all it says is TP, which means teleport, Nito Z to Nito Z. So essentially this means that I'm going to teleport myself to myself. So I'm going to hit cancel there. Um, and then I'm just going to take this redstone torch and activate this redstone clock. So in order for this redstone clock to work, all you need to do, I accidentally got rid of that repeater. All you need to do is go one block away from your command block and put two repeaters facing in opposite directions right next to each other. Then you just put them on either side and basically you can see how this would sort of make a loop. So like this is facing this direction so the redstone would carry on and it just goes in a loop. So I'm going to put a redstone torch here to permanently activate that. Then I'm going to put my redstone there, just like that. And now that should be powering that command block. And so now all we need to do is take a piece of redstone dust in our hand and break this, but then place it again very quickly. And this will create a redstone loop clock. So all I need to do is this, and there we go. So as you can see, it now is very stuttery. This is not any kind of editing trick or any kind of camera thing. This is literally just this command block teleporting me to me over and over again and it's very very stuttery uh and yeah and a little bonus with this one is if you really want to make your friends pull their hair out you can set this to always active and then set this to a repeat command block instead the reason why we don't do a repeat command block in the first place is because i can barely move right now so if more your style is just trapping your friends in place this is great for you next up on the list is our command known as sound of death and basically this is going to make your friends really angry so if i want this to work i'm just going to take a repeater and i'm going to put it right here I'm just going to add in an extra block and as you can see we have another clock going around except there's command blocks going in a circle so i'm just going to power this and as you can see there are many meows, or I guess here rather than see. Um, I'm really not quite sure if you can even hear me right now, so I'm going to turn this off. Uh, yeah, like that. And all you need to do to turn either of these off is just break the cycle. I'm gonna replace that. So yeah, basically, if you've ever if you've ever seen that one troll online where essentially someone will hide a bunch of cats underneath your, their friend's base, basically. This one is 10 times worse because there are no cats. There's literally no way to get rid of this. And you know what the best part is? Let me power this again. It does not matter how far away I go. I will always hear them. This is torture. And so how this cat one works is essentially we just have this command block in here. If I go home, um... It, it just says play sound, so we're playing the sound, Minecraft entity.cat.ambient. So that just means like the regular meow. Then we do ambient as our tag, and then we hit at A. So this is going to play to every single player. If you were to do, say, my name or your friend's name, that would make it only play at them. So um, here we have at A and then some tildes. We need those for, the, for it to work. And then essentially we just take as many zeros and put them after that one as we can see if i do any more it, ju it just won't let me and then this is the pitch i keep it at one it might be even more annoying if you pitch it up so like let's say we do i think th uh two is the max or you can do negative right oh no you can't i think it's just zero one or two so i'm going to keep it at two i'm going to hit done and this is just going to be a higher pitched cat noise it's going to ah 
Yeah, they're like baby cats now. I I don't I like well this one is. This one is the baby cat noise because it, it's only on this command block. But yeah, essentially all we do is we put we put that in a redstone clock and they just go around. Make sure that they're all facing into each other and then yeah, all you need to do is power a repeater going into one of the command blocks and then break it immediately so that it starts going in a loop. Very good. Now another bonus with this play sound command is the repeating command block. So I'm going to go here and um, I'm going to take this repeating command block and as you can see if I go and hit the home key we have this command play sound minecraft ambient dot cave master neato z tilde 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 a big number and then one and essentially what this is saying is we are playing the sound and that sound is a cave sound. And then we have master, which essentially means that th that you will never be able to not hear this. And then Nito Z, so it's basically playing at me. So I'm the only one who would be able to hear this. And then we put tildes down. Uh, basically, we need to do that in order for it to work. Then we put this big number down. I essentially just went until I couldn't anymore because the number the number was just too big. And then this last one is the pitch. You just want to keep that at one. Or I guess. For the cat one, you don't really need to, considering that it might be more annoying if it's higher pitched. But I can just hit done, or actually, I'm not going to hit done yet. So if I hit always active, this is a repeating command block, so it's going to do this over and over again. Now, you guys aren't going to be able to hear me, so warning headphone users, this might get loud. Ah! Help! I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's 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 just turn that turn that one off. Please stop. Please, I, I'm begging you. Please. Thank you. Our next command is sky high. Now I think that a lot of you might be able to infer what this command will do. It will basically send me sky high. So essentially, this just looks like nothing. There's there's nothing here except a sign. Uh, but that's because there's a little something something underneath here. But basically, I'm just going to show you what it does. So, like, say you're just walking around. La -da 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 so, yeah, that's essentially what it is. And basically, how I'm doing this is there's a command block here. And what this command block says is, we'll take a look at this from the beginning. It says, execute if entity at A. So, it's saying if any player within a distance of 1.58 blocks is basically near here we do run and then we set a block to redstone so if I hit done can patch that back up this command block is basically putting a redstone block right here um, and yeah essentially that makes this command block activate which says effect give at P I'm only using at P because I'm the only one on the server if this is for a specific friend you should put their name in um, but I said effect give at P minecraft levitation Five one hundred. So that's basically saying the amplifier, or sorry, that's basically saying for five seconds and a hundred times. So like if you ever see like someone has poison two or poison three, that's basically the amplifier except it's a hundred. So if I hit done here, we have another chain command block which is set on always active and chain, and then we just have set slash set block the same redstone block to air so that it gets reset just like that. Um, and yeah, that's basically just how it works. I'm going to put all these commands down in the description and you can use them for yourself. And basically any block can go here. It doesn't just have to be stone bricks. Let's say I wanted to get some grass here. This could literally just be in like some random forest. Your friend is just walking around and oh, I'm flying <laughs> all of a sudden. Um, oops, what? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I still had levitation. Um, so yeah, that's a really cool command. Very infuriating if your friends don't know what's going on. On to the next one. Now for the fourth command out of seven. We have, you can't have that. And you want to know why you can't have that? Well, let me show ya. Um, here I have slash clear neato z hashtag my, or I guess pound minecraft planks. And I think that most of you will be able to infer what this will do. If I try to put any planks, even if I try to pick them up, I can just click on them. No more planks for you. You're not allowed to have them because they're getting cleared from your inventory infinitely. And because it's specifically planks, can't do it. It's, it's any type of plank, even the new variants. We have crimson planks and we also have warped planks. And again, I mean, of course, this doesn't just have to be with planks. It can be essentially any block type. If I want to type in stone, oops, my bad, stone bricks. 
just like that and hit done you can do this one nothing but as you can see if i do that no i i, I can pick up the oak planks again only only just these now um so basically all this is is it's saying clear neato z of stone bricks or clear neato z of planks and all you need to do is make sure that this is set to repeat and select always active because if i turn that off then as you can see i can pick anything i want up again um so yeah that one's just a little simple one it will drive your friends insane trust me i've done it before <laughs> it it's really fun to watch let me just say that next up is lifetime advancement award or i guess lifetime achievement award is what the song is actually called but yeah this one's pretty fun uh, to mess around with so basically we have another redstone clock here so let's so let's check this out we basically have these repeaters they're running in over here in this loop and then they come to this command block so let's take a look advancement grant nato z everything so this is basically giving me every single advancement in the game then the clock keeps going and then it takes them all away so let's take a look at what this will actually do let me hit done yeah your your chat essentially gets completely yeah and, and then you have those challenge completed noises your chat essentially gets completely spammed and it's it's just it's not a good time <laughs> and this will go on literally for yeah it's it's so loud it's it's so loud this one is so fun to troll your friends with because it won't ever end it won't and basically all I, all I need to do is break this and everything will stop if I just disconnect and then rejoin just like that everything's all better um, they're all cleared and if I look I actually still have all the advancements this one might get quite a fright out of your friends it's called big spook and essentially it's gonna spook them out so for those of you who didn't see my first video just showing off some cool stuff we can do with commands, I showed off this command that essentially allows you to make your friends think that somebody joined the game. Um, but it has an extra twist. Ah! Yeah, yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. Uh, I'm not going to show off how to get custom skin, because th this doesn't just have to be hero brand. We, we can do this with any skin. Uh, but I'm not going to show off how to do that in this video. If you'd like to see that, please guys please let me know that you want to see that down in the comments because i'm not going to do it if i don't see that people want it um so yeah essentially all we need to do for this one is we have this tell raw command block and if we go home it says tell raw at a text hero brian join the game so that's saying tell every player that hero brian join the game and it's saying use the color yellow so if we hit that one he's there um, and I mean, obviously he won't be there. And obviously, this doesn't just have to be Hero Brian. I can type in basically anything I want. I can say, like I don't know, Notch, <laughs> Notch, Notch join the game. Or of course, I can just type in anything I want here, and I can do Notch left the game. I can hit done. It says Notch left the game. Um, so yeah, that one's really cool. Now, there's one more command that I want to show off. It's another tell raw one. This is basically just another example. You can basically make it look like your friends have said something that they haven't. So I'm going to hit this button, and it says that I said sub to Neato Z and use DuckDuckGo. And while I do agree with that, I didn't actually say that. But as you can see, if I type in the same thing, sub to Neato Z and use duck duck go they look identical look you, you didn't even tell that it changed they look identical so to you, like it, it's so awesome that you can do this and just completely troll the freak out of your friends so if i do tell uh slash tell roll it's basically saying tell everyone that neato z said sub to neato z and you use duck duck go and then color we just put nothing in there because uh, the default value is white. So, honestly, again, this can be any name. I can type in Notch, just like I did before, and hit done. Why, oh, thank you. Alright, unfortunately, this one is going to be the final one of this video. It's titled, Into Space. And while the Levitation one launched us pretty high in the air with, ba with basically being seamless, this one is going to go a lot higher. <laughs> so, we're going to head over here. Um, this entire thing is probably going to 
put off a big explosion, so don't don't put this near anything that you care about. Basically, we just have this like massive obsidian hold, and all we do is patch this up, make sure that there are no blocks there, and then all we need to do is we have this lever. It sends a redstone pulse down here into the command block that's there. Let's take a look at that command block real quick. All it says is summon Minecraft TNT minecart tilde tilde one tilde. So essentially what that's saying is summon a TNT minecart one block above the command block. So all we need to do is put that on repeat, hit done, patch this up just like how it was. And now when I flick this lever, there's going to be a lot of uh, TNT minecarts in there. So if I flick it, can't see anything happening right now, but if I hit the F3 key, uh, if you see my E up there, um, it says zero. It's right underneath uh, integrated server, see all my FPS values, Minecraft 1.16.1. .1. It's underneath all that. If I go over here, you can see that is going up a lot. It's already at 400. Now, I don't want to break my computer too bad with this because this can get very laggy very quick. Um, so I'm just going to turn this off and I'm going to show you how this actually works. Now, you might actually be able to hear my computer fan blowing because th this is quite intensive. So all I'm going to do is I I'm going to hit my F3 key so that we can see how high I go. And all you need to do is tell your friends to look down there and then just push them in. And this is what's going to happen. Now, look at, look at my... Uh, Y value. Why isn't it happening? What? Oh! There it goes. <laughs> Look at my Y value! We're accelerating like a thousand a second! 23! Come on, 24, 24! Oh, just barely 24! But yeah, as you can see, I am now falling back down to the ground. That might have been extremely laggy for you guys. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. Oh, geez, Optifine does not work well with falling from high heights. But yeah, that was awesome. I love that so much. Um, and yeah, that's essentially all the commands. But I actually do have one little bonus tip for you guys. All you need to do is hit the escape key, go to options chat settings and then where it says chat shown click that until it says chat hidden then hit done done hit escape now all you want to do is hold the f3 key and the c key at the exact same time as each other if i hit f3 and c at the same time all you want to do is hold that for around 10 seconds okay just around 10 seconds and then once you do that you're gonna get a big 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 FPS increase. Obviously, it's not really happening for me right now. I, I, I have 324 FPS already. That's pretty all right. And it's, it's going to give you a huge FPS boost. I, trust me, trust me, I would never lie to you. I would never, ever, ever lie to you. Anyway, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed this video and that last tip. If any of these tips were found helpful to you, please do consider leaving a like, uh, commenting which one was your favorite or which one helped you, and subscribing. I would appreciate that a lot. R real quick before I end this, I just want to thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. That is just insane. I never thought that I would even have that much. And I know it seems like a pretty minuscule amount compared to everyone else, but like, they were all there at one point, and they all thought, wow, 200 subscribers, there are 200 people that watch me, that's insane. And, I mean, yeah, that's what I'm feeling right now. Um, just remember, keep trying, believe in yourself, and you will make it one day. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I thank you all, and I'll see you later.